Back to the pool for five more finals. First, the women's 100 meter breaststroke in the SB12 category for swimmers with a restricted field of vision. Seven entrants, including Lima gold medalist, Parapan record holder, and Tokyo Paralympic champion Maria Gomes of Brazil. There she is, leading the field in the yellow cap. She went fast early on, was well clear at the turn, and went on to claim gold in her first event here at Santiago 2023. It was tight after that, and it was actually Venezuela's Belkis Mota who claimed silver out-touching Argentina's Nadia Baez by eight hundredths of a second. Delight for Brazil and gold for Brazil. Silver for Venezuela and bronze for Argentina. And all smiles on the podium. Next, we have the men's 100 meter freestyle in the S8 category for swimmers with coordination affected to a low level. They may have movement moderately affected in the legs, the use of one arm only, or the absence of limbs. Swimmers in this class are at almost full capacity, but lack all-round muscle power. Eight people in the field with little between them in terms of their qualifying times. Brazil's Gabriel Silva led by a decent margin at the 50-meter mark, but he showed signs of going out too hard as he slowed in the closing meters. He just held off Mexico's Luis Andrade. But in lane three, at the top of the three bunched together here, S7 swimmer Carlos Serrano, swimming a class up, sensationally passed the pair of them and touched in a game's record of 1 minute 0 0.97 seconds. What a finish between the three of them. Gold for Colombia, silver for Brazil, and bronze for Mexico, all within half a second of one another. Now it's the men's 50-meter backstroke, S4, which is for swimmers who either have coordination problems affecting all four of their limbs, or have movement in their arms but no trunk or leg function. This is Mexico's Angel Camacho, who proved his sprinting prowess again on his way to a personal best and his second gold of these games after the 150-meter medley. And it would turn out to be a Mexico 1-2-3 as he was followed home by Jesus Hernandez and Gustavo Sanchez. As you can hear, the crowd liked that one. A proud podium for Mexico, who have dominated this event in recent times. The women's 50-meter backstroke S4 now, so the same classification as the men's we've just watched. Eight in the field. And there is Lidia Vieira. After two relay wins, she was looking to get her hands on an individual gold. But Mexico's Nelly Miranda here took full advantage of the slowing Brazilian's pace in the closing meters. And she claimed her second gold of these games after the 150 meter individual medley. Four-time S3 champion Edenia Nogueira Garcia, meanwhile, claimed a remarkable podium place in this, the S4 event. Gold for Mexico, silver and bronze for Brazil. And finally, the women's 200 meter individual medley SM5. The medley is all four strokes, so backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly and freestyle, usually crawl. Category five includes people with a moderate level of disability, often those with full use of their arms and hands, but limited or no use of their trunk and legs. Brazil's defending champion, Estefani de Oliveira in the yellow cap, got off to a quick start and put together four solid lengths in each stroke. You can see how far clear she is already at the halfway mark. She ended up posting a games record 3 minutes 47.42 seconds to claim a confident gold in a race in which she was never really challenged. 
Equally impressive, however, was the rest of the podium, with Colombia's 13-year-old talents Mariana Guerrero and Gabriela Oviedo taking silver and bronze respectively. Yes, 13 years old. An amazing performance by the two of them. Here are the final results. And here's the podium. Gold for Brazil, silver and bronze for Colombia.